In 1849, pioneers making their way across Wisconsin found the beautiful clear lakes of Wapaka. As they settled into the area, they brought businesses and commerce, and the town began to grow. To help these pioneers establish themselves and solidify the financial future of Wapaka, the National Bank was established in 1885. Back in the old days, the area was much more rural than it is today, and I'm sure this bank helped farmers to buy farms, they would have helped to stock those farms, but in addition to that, they would help the citizens uh, maybe stock their stores for, with merchandise, and they would have helped citizens in other ways as well. In short, we would have helped people to realize their dreams. First National Bank, like the city of Wapaka, has seen many changes over the last 100 years. But one thing has remained the same, a dedication to the communities it serves. Today, that dedication has spread to bring that true community-based banking to local, rural areas with eight branches in Wisconsin and three in Texas. In 1980, the modern era of banking was ushered in by deregulation. That deregulation allowed banks to compete for customers for the first time in many, many years. At that time, First National Bank started growing, and we went from a bank of 20 million in 1980 to a bank of over 800 million today. That's a lot of growth. At First National Bank, being a part of the community doesn't mean just being a business. It is a partnership. A partnership that gives back by getting involved. First National Bank has always stressed community involvement. Our people help out by giving their time, and First National Bank helps out by providing the funds for large and small projects. We are very proud of our helping heritage, and we want to keep doing that for your community. As the area continues to grow and change, First National Bank will continue growing to serve its customers better. First National Bank, pioneers in the community, pioneers in your financial future. <laughs>